So when we talk about Active Directory users, um, we typically divide them into multiple categories. The people that are using Active Directory, which is the user of the Active Directory, as well as the Active Directory administrators and admin, uh, or Active Directory security people, uh, I IS, Information Systems Security. So I'm going to just say, you know, start from an AD user perspective. Um, you need to be aware that um, you need to be aware that Active Directory leaves trails of your tickets behind in different endpoints, and these are the tickets that contained sort of uh, inexplicitly your passwords, the hashes, you know, the NTLM hash, the hash that can be decrypted or um, attacked or Kerber roasted uh, to find out your clear text password. So normally users think that once they sign in, they are safe but your trail, the password trails will still be left over in the Active Directory. Um, so that's one of the things that is not a lot of people aware of and they just go around and sign into any, every area of places without you know, checking whether the system are secure enough um, or whether the system has been compromised. And to be honest, you won't check whether the Mac you are using or the Windows system you are using are secure enough though. So just, just to keep something in mind um, that whenever you type password into a computer on an NTLM or on a Kerberos uh, protocol, you are leaving something behind. No, Microsoft did a very good job in t helping you to protect the passwords and protect the user credentials. Um, but as much as you can protect, a hacker or attacker will find a way to compromise that particular security measures. Um, so yeah, so just to be aware that when you type something in, make sure that you are not part of the sensitive groups because your data or your username or password will leave behind and you're part of sensitive groups that can reuse the privilege that you have to access any other systems. For the IT system admins, you have to be careful about the way that you join domain, the way that you provision servers as well. Some of the servers, like I said in the presentations, are dangerous. The provisioning way of you provisioning a service are dangerous, like unconstrained delegations or some of the things are dangerous because if you have an unconstrained delegations, um, you are letting the server to impersonate any user in the organization to any other system as well. So, so yeah, so those are some of the settings that you need to be aware of because these are the settings that leads to AD attack like golden ticket or silver tickets. Um, or Kerberos thing, you know, these are some of the prerequisites that you might, you may have, you need to have for these attacks to happen.